Here's my uh, battery pack project for 318650 cells in the Hammond 1590BB case. This is a Chinese knockoff though and you can tell the metal is just not as good as the real Hammond case. You can tell when you're drilling it it's more brittle. So, but mm, it's a battery case, so I guess I'll have to use it. Here we have the uh, MPPT charger. Uh, this one is a, uh, I think a 3 watt, no not a 3 watt, I think the 3 amp version. So uh, you have a, a heat sink. They don't all have a heat sink. Uh, this one was about $15. And I'm going to secure it right here. I have standoffs, 12 millimeter standoffs. And I'm going to use two of them. I also have a battery tester which I will glue on the side of the case here. I need to drill a hole for the wires. These you can find on eBay like everything else I have on this table. I have my uh, DC connectors and I have four of them. Two will be for uh, input, one for the MPPT charger and the other one for the uh, BMS battery management system. And two of them will be for the output, so an equal output. Uh, maximum voltage is about 12.6 volts, so this might not be enough for your radio. I don't usually uh, need more than 12 volts, so that's fine for me, but you might need a four pack of 18650 cells as opposed to three. These wires that are used for this cell holder are very thin, but I don't plan on using more than one amp on transmit, so that should do. I use two part epoxy to glue everything. Make sure you scratch the parts with sandpaper before you glue them. I need the balance leads for the battery pack, so I've prepared the two extra wires here that uh, will be connected to the cell holder. I spared you the uh, drilling and uh, soldering, but I placed the uh, MPPT charger here and uh, it's bolted on, so it helps to uh, keep the uh, battery holder here, which is uh, epoxied to the case anyway. So I have the uh, balance leads, battery plus, input for the uh, MPPT charger. This is going to be the input for the uh, BMS, here I have uh, both outputs and have a switch here. The battery indicator on the side will only work when the switch will be on. And that's it, I only uh, need now the BMS which I don't have yet but this should be uh, operational like it is. And here is the uh, battery pack with the uh, 318650 cells in the battery holder. Finished, uh, the switch works on 11.8 volts and the battery tester says the battery is full which it is pretty much now i just have to add the uh, battery management system and uh, it will be done i just received the uh, battery management system and fortunately it will fit inside the case barely uh, it's going to be tight but it does fit now I have to rewire a few things here to make sure that everything goes through the BMS. Well, except the solo charger, but... At least the uh, output seems to work fine and uh, well, I believe everything is soldered properly. I have a little bit of uh, heat shrink tubing here that will go onto the uh, battery management system and I'll push it inside the case. Then I'll have to test of course if charging works both for the BMS and the uh, MPPT solar charger. Now I'm going to test the uh, MPPT charger and we'll uh, input 
16 volts and theoretically the voltage here should be increasing. I knew there was an LED on this MPPT charger and it is on so it's getting power and uh, hopefully the voltage will increase. And a while later it's still on 11.5, doesn't seem to be charging with the MPPT charger. The uh, BMS however seems to be charging, uh, at least it's doing something. I'll unplug it. And indeed the voltage uh, went up. It's working. Now I need to troubleshoot the uh, MPPT charger. I tried to power the MPPT charger with a battery which has 12.6 volts and apparently the LED on the circuit board doesn't turn on so maybe it's a question of voltage and I might just have to wait to have a real solar panel to test it. Other than that I'm pretty happy about uh, how this turned out. Uh, it's going to be very useful. I really like the uh, battery tester here. So I just have to close the box and uh, just go out and use it. That's it guys, have a good one.